Death is the final punchline at the end of everyone's life, though not everyone gets to laugh. You'll reach your own end soon enough. But this story isn't about you. This story is about the humble town of Flatwood Peaks, where you'll find a variety of pleasant folk, including one young lady named Penny Dowood. Penny is just a regular person with a regular job, but big dreams and an almost disturbing interest in the morbid. Oh, you might be thinking, Aha, I know where this story is going. Penny will start climbing the corporate ladder at work, eventually leaving to start her own competing business, buying out her old boss, and later on in her mid-forties, realizing that all the wealth she'd accumulated could not buy back the friendship she'd sold out in her obsessive quest for corporate success. <sighs> that story isn't going to happen. I don't know why you thought that story would happen. It really says more about you than it does about anyone else. The reason that story isn't going to happen is very simple. Penny Dowood is about to have her whole life flipped. Excuse me, dearie. Behold, mortal! You have entered the domain of the dead! To where would you like us to send your restless soul? Perhaps it shall reside in the jar of endless torment! Or, for a nominal fee, mayhaps into the wooden closet of hell to be lowered into the very maw of Hades himself? Let me just check my husband's will. <clears throat> Mrs. Doward, while I do appreciate your, um, passion for performance, I'm afraid this is one egregious step too far. Come on, Halloween is in a few weeks. Right, but this is a funeral home! You're fired, Penny! Well, you can't fire me! I quit! You can't quit, Mrs. Dowood. I just fired you! My quitting is retroactive, boss! How's that taste? Hey, Penny! Come on, boyfriend. Future Penny can easily find a new job tomorrow. But for now, Present Penny is in a bad mood and wants to cheer herself up. And food, movies, and smooches are gonna be perfect! Well, I never. My husband put in his will that I really did want to be catapulted into the jaws of Hades. Sorry I won't be able to help you, ma'am. That's okay, dearie. Hey, can you drive? Rest in peace, past Penny, who had a job that didn't let her have fun. Next stop, anything but that. So you're keeping the demon horns? I like them. Yep, best part of the uniform, and I had to pencil it into the dress code. And don't worry about the job. You'll probably fall into a new one within the week. Ideally, it'll be the one that lets me keep the spooky Halloween theme. Yeah. Hey, the fog's getting pretty thick. Oh, what the? Whoa, are you okay? Fine. Not hurt at all, actually. 
That was really lucky. Good. Take that, Death! We better get back before the fog gets even thicker. We can take care of the car later. Come on, let's cut across the graveyard. Really? We almost died once today. What are you, afraid of ghosts? Penny, if a real ghost appeared, you would probably be a little afraid. Nah, I'd just say, ah, holy crap, a ghost! And then be totally cool. Classic me. A mausoleum. Let's check it out. I don't know. As you can see, it's perfectly safe.